My name is Tengal. Yeah, basically I work for culture. Specifically, I organize uh, artistic events like Fet de la Wasak, festivals and whatever. <laughs> Obviously from Fête de la Musique, I would like to thank the French Embassy for uh, creating it. And ov obviously it was a, a good pambasag, good name recall. Fête de la Wasak, Fête de la Musique during 2008 was, parang it was a controversial time. Well, because, you know, basically the French stopped funding, diba? And then they were like a bunch of people who wanted to continue the, the tradition of Fête de la Musique. They did it in Moa, it was like some failure or something. So it was the same year, and I think it was a good opportunity to take over. Um, but, you know, we're not taking over, but it's just something else that we started. Basically, it's a music festival, and uh, it's the same day, you know. We, we, we had like two days of performances, same format as Fête de la Musique. We had a bunch of people playing it. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit crazy. I think it was. I always had like, anato, parang, you know, in between whether I would like fuck this woman or should I work? So I always like had to work because I don't have enough time to, do, to juggle women, uh, work and uh, you know, other responsibilities. So that was a difficult Yeah, it was a difficult team to, to keep up with the social demands of society. Uh, there are some, like from all, uh, you know, from animals to people, various people, three generations, uh, three sexes. Uh, no, actually, two sexes. You know, I haven't, I haven't had any lesbian uh, followers or anything yet. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, so at least I could. That's a fantasy. Well, it would be good, you know. At least you have like uh, male, female, whatever. That would, would <laughs> admire your, <laughs> your, your whatever activities. successful uh, basically a lot of people uh, like to see this carnage we, we had like one Australian yeah we had one Australian guy who, who basically had like a piece of uh, uh, glass and he was uh, smashing it on his face while he was trying to sing on the glass and you know it was bloody and people you know it was like this kind of atmosphere when you go to like Sabungan like everybody's like ah! right pumped up and uh, it was a good experience for, for everybody I think. Everybody got some, you know, something home like a piece of shard or a good memory, a cut in the hand. Well, I think the most surreal there was like I realized that people are really violent, you know. That, that yeah, they, they, they have like this kind of uh, aggression that they, they like, they like, they, they like, like to see some kind of guy jumping. It's like a slapstick comedy, you know, when you see somebody fall over uh, ten stories, you know, you, you start laughing, and uh, right, like it's like funny, you know, this kind of uh, slapstick humor, like using bodies. And uh, when you're a kid, when you're a baby, you see somebody fall, it's it's quite funny. And you know, we're adults now, we're grown up people, like sane uh, members of society, and uh, we got like pretty crazy people who are uh, doing, uh, pushing the boundaries of performance and the music, and uh, that was like. Um, Quite an interesting thing. I actually, when I, when I was uh, during the Fete de Wasak, I was watching the audience, not the, the performers. So it was quite interesting. Too. A lot of a lot of really hot girls. Like I'm not kidding. Like really hot girls. And um, I don't know if they're artists. Maybe they have like this inclination to something dangerous, something that's alien, something that is not safe. You know, I have no idea. Let's ask your uh, models. Well, that's true. Yeah, you, you have to you have to really be be able to um, keep up with the pace of this artist. Sometimes they're you know sometimes they have good moods. Sometimes they don't have uh, you know they have like bad moods. So 
usually I'm always in a bad mood, so you know, it's always like we communicate when we're together in a bad mood and then we, we interact. And this is a very creative process very creative. between a curator and artist. Not so, so much intense. No, no, it's nothing intense. Actually, when you, no, no, there's no violence in it, you know. I think, um, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't see anything violent. I'd rather not approach people trying to ask for money. That's one thing that I don't want to do. It's like, you know, it's, I don't know. No, no, not mangarap, mangarap. Not that. It's just, it's just very hard to, you know, to come up with so much bullshit and then say, like, come on, you know, you have to, to give some money to Wasak. It's like, what? I'm from Sabao Media Art Kitchen. What? You know, they'll be like, what are you talking about? So they always think that we're joking. And my name is Tanger. What? So it's always like this. But you're not always joking. No, I mean, this is all serious. Like, this is all, these are all names that we really, like, you know, use. Like Sabao Media Art Kitchen, the name of the organization, my name is Tengal. Uh, Fet de la Wasak, you know, like, it's kind of, uh, you have to really have very good PR skills to try to make a spin on, uh, on like, the corporate world and okay, whatever. It's, it's, it's trying to, um, parang wasak, or destroy these preconceived notions of contemporary music. So, you know, what is contemporary music, etc., etc. You have, like, ideas of what it is. So, supposedly, when you participate in the festival, you, I mean, we, we ask like an open ear, maybe two ears, you know, when you enter and then, you know, you leave like the a debris of ideas outside the door, then, you know, just be prepared for anything. I think that's the best way to, to approach it. Because it's not supposed to be alienating. <laughs> Thank you.